It's a big day for our country as we could soon have another weapon to help us fight the spread of COVID. Today, a CDC advisory panel was scheduled to meet in Atlanta to vote on whether to formally recommend a vaccine booster shot for people with compromised immune systems. This is our top story this morning as health officials get ready for the vote just hours after the FDA gave the third shot the green light. Chinu Hart joining us live from the CDC walking us through the latest developments on the decisions and what this means for vulnerable Americans. We're thinking cancer patients, HIV patients, Chinu. Exactly, Aisha, and that's what the uh, uh, FDA approved late last night, a uh, for that booster for those immune compromised Americans. But medical experts believe that the booster may not be far behind for the rest of Americans. With a COVID-19 booster shot possible in the near future, the United States Surgeon General says data will drive the decision and health officials say they're preparing as if it's imminent. We're trying to understand if there's a decrease in protection that's manifesting as a significant increase in breakthrough infections, particularly breakthrough hospitalizations and deaths. But to get there, a process similar to approving the first vaccines will have to happen. The FDA makes the recommendation and a CDC advisory panel will vote. With the FDA now already approving that third shot, the CDC panel is expected to meet Friday afternoon and take up that vote. If approved, Dr. Anthony Fauci says the rollout will be similar to what we've already seen. It'll be in an orderly fashion in a timely way, and I think it's going to be through the same outlets that we did before. That means the shots people will get are vaccines we're already getting, such as the Moderna and Pfizer shots. Vaccines that are sitting in Walgreens, Today and in CVS today are the same exact ones that are be ready to go into our arms. Now the data being used to make this decision is also data uh, derived from other countries such as the UK and Canada used alongside data here in the United States to make that decision. All right, Chinu, great information. I think a lot of people thought the booster shot would be a totally different makeup of the vaccine, so that's great to know. Thank you. New data from a recent study suggests Moderna's vaccine protects people for at least six months and maybe longer, even against variants. Researchers from the National Institutes of Health tested about 24 fully vaccinated volunteers at different times. The team found that after six months, 96% of samples had a full antibody response against the Delta variant. Six months after the second dose of the Moderna shot, just over half of blood samples maintain antibodies against the beta variant. The team plans to continue to look for evidence of protection beyond six months. Tests of Pfizer's and Johnson & Johnson's vaccines also indicate they provide at least six months of immunity. Here is a quick look at where vaccine rates are this morning in Georgia. New numbers show we are nearing the 50% mark for people who have at least one dose. Only 41% are fully vaccinated across the state. You got to get that second shot to get the full benefit. It is a good sign, though. More people are getting shots because of Georgia's Commissioner of Public Health projects. The latest spike in COVID cases could peak in a matter of weeks. Dr. Kathleen Toomey says crushing the Delta variant. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but we can do it. We're going to have more from the state's top health official in our next half hour as she explains why she's calling this new pandemic a whole new pandemic.